Hello everybody, so today I'm going to show you the only two things you need to look at to follow the Canadian housing market. And one of them is right here, specifically these gray bars. So the first one is a recession, and the second one is unemployment. So if you only wanted to see the two things, those are the two things, you can stop watching. But if you want me to explain myself, keep watching. So recessions are hard to predict, but once they get going, once the indicators start firing off, it's fairly safe to say that a recession is coming and tied very closely to a recession is unemployment. So I know we're looking at the United States here, but we're going to tie it into Canada very soon. So let's look at some of these dates where there were recessions. We're looking at the early 80s, the early 90s, and the GFC. Tying this into Canada, we're looking at the early 80s recession, early 90s recession, 2000 we didn't have a recession, and during the GFC. And if you look at this guy and wondering what he is, remember the Canadian recession of 2005? Well, it looks like it never happened. So we can ignore that one. So let's think back to those dates, the early 80s. Toronto just so happened to have been in a decline already, the early 90s, and then the GFC. So while Toronto was already declining, this, even though in this scale looks very small, it was very big. Just ask anybody who was in Vancouver, Victoria during the early 80s. This was a massive fall. So that's the early 80s. This is the early 90s, about a decade where nothing really happened. And then again, the GFC right there. And if we look at this nationally, early 80s, early 90s, and the GFC. And what you're looking at here is the difference, the difference, and this is important, the difference between a hard landing and a soft landing. Specifically, we're going to talk about unemployment. Because again, that's number two, only two things you need to worry about, a recession and unemployment. The recession is the recession. The question is, how bad is the unemployment going to be? So if we look at these time frames, early 80s, early 90s, and the GFC, and with a keen eye, you will be able to see that this yellow line is the United States, and you can see the same cycles. They're just not synchronized. So you can see things moving down, moving down, moving down, moving down, moving down, moving down. So this is the unemployment rate in the United States and Canada. The United States is the blue line and Canada is the black line. The scales are Canada's on the right, the US is on the left. So it doesn't show it here, but it should be pretty easy to pick out where the recessions were. Recession, 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 pretty easy stuff. And if we compare how those recessions impacted the unemployment rate in the US versus Canada, and again, look at the time frames. Early 80s, Canada had a sharp increase in unemployment. Early 90s, sharp increase. And then look at the GFC, a sharp increase, but the severity really wasn't that bad. If we drill down to that GFC time frame, we look at the United States going from four and a half to 10, so doubling. So if we compare that to Canada, it was a sharp increase, but that was going from around six to eight and three quarters. Not near as bad as what happened in the United States. And again, the recessions line up with the unemployment and those recessions and unemployment spikes, they line up with weakness in the Canadian real estate market. The only question is when we will have a recession and how severe it will be. And where are we now? I would say we're in the bull trap, the formation of the bull trap phase. Prices are moving up. The real estate industry is very happy, very excited. They want you to buy a house. Well, they always want you to buy a house, but now they've got some propaganda to feed you while they're trying to sell you a house. The tricky part, again, going back to the idea that it's always a soft landing, which that chart I just showed you, is that even before recessions, there's always a head fake bounce in housing data when you're at the end of a tightening cycle, just like we're seeing now in housing stocks and housing data, because when, once mortgage rates peak, but until employment deteriorates, which is that window I believe we're in now, housing data bounces. So just think about this. So from uh, the end of the Fed's tightening cycle in June of 06, for the next six, seven, eight months, the housing data bounced in the second half of 06 into early 07. And, that, and people looked at that and said, well, look, we're not going to have a downturn in housing. Prices aren't going to go down. We're not going to have this recession. Uh, and, and sure enough, we had one of the worst housing downturns in history. The same thing happened in the summer of 2000, right before the recession and after the Fed stopped. 
Same thing happened in 1990. So again, the housing data always bounces. So one of the things I'm tired of is these little moves, not just up, down, all around. These little moves. I made this very tongue in cheek, but it kind of shows this is the Japanese real estate crash. And I'm kind of making fun of the green shoots narrative that's going on now in Canada and kind of thinking, what would that be like in Japan as prices were falling? As you can see, prices didn't fall in a straight line. There was always a reason to be optimistic, to see green shoots all the way down as prices fluctuated up and down and up and down. But if you're looking at the big picture, if you're zoomed out, you're looking at the big move down. So this is what I'm tired of at this point. I'm tired of arguing with people as prices fluctuate up and down. Uh, being bearish is not fun. Uh, it's exhausting. Uh, it, it, you know, when you're bearish as strategist, you better be confident in your view because you know, kind of people feel like you're kind of betting against them. Yeah, you're telling investors what they don't want to hear. Yeah. yeah. So I'm taking a little break, which I've done before. If you followed me, I take some breaks. And if I'm guessing this break will be until summer or maybe fall, when we get that recession, when we start to see unemployment spike up. And as I'm taking my break, I wanted to leave you with who I'm going to be watching while I'm taking my break. Number one is a brand new one. Anybody following him on Twitter is gonna be very excited. I think I was his first subscriber. He doesn't have any videos, but you should subscribe now because it's gonna be lit. Second is the other Daniel. I'm not gonna call him a bear, but he does talk about bear stuff and he's pretty balanced. Unfortunately, he doesn't post often enough. Daniel, if you're watching, you should post once a week, but you can also follow him on, he's on Instagram and Twitter. Next is Market Mania. Probably the only guy on YouTube that I think might be more doomer than me. He dooms pretty hard, but if you're like me, that can be a lot of fun. Next is John Flynn. John Flynn just joined Twitter. I know I'm happy he's on Twitter now, but I almost feel like warning him. Like, it's not too late to back out because it is my personal opinion that once you join Twitter, your life does get a little bit worse. Next is Mark Mitchell. He's also on Twitter, I guess. I don't know if I follow him. Again, another guy in the industry, but very balanced. And as a bonus, if you're really trying to follow, if we're gonna have a recession, and how bad the recession is going to be, Wealthion is my go-to. Adam makes me not want to interview anyone ever again because he is so good at it. And you might be seeing it right here. You might think it's biased, but I don't think so. This channel is super even keeled. And this video, I may have included clips in this video from this video, but this video was awesome. And you know, it shows some very smart people saying the recession is baked in. So there you go, subscribe to this channel. I know I am. And hopefully we will have a severe recession with amazing amounts of job loss. And we'll see you back here then.